Hi guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to turn this into this, even with a low budget. Essentially, making a launch pad video look good is all to do with the pre-filming setup. Not everything can be edited correctly in post-production. The first thing you notice about this video that is hideously wrong, portrait mode. Don't ever, okay? All you have to do is just turn the phone to the side, make it landscape, and already it looks better. Now I'm filming with an iPhone 6 Plus, just for this video at least, so that you can see how to do it with something you might already have. But Obviously Samsung's work as well. I know that the Galaxy Note 7, for example, has very vibrant oranges. Now I feel this shot needs to be at a slightly higher angle than this. To achieve this angle is pretty simple. All you have to do is mount your phone or camera on a tripod with this extension arm that I've got. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get one of these. It's simply just a horizontal arm that extends out over the top of the table. I still feel that angle wasn't quite high enough. So to achieve the full over the top of the launch pad kind of view, what you'll need to do is buy a different type of tripod, and I'm talking about one that looks like this. Now, this tripod is actually much cheaper than the tripod I previously showed you. It has a bend in the middle, allowing it to fold over the top of the table and look directly down over the launch pad. And now, get some lights on. Seriously, this is the biggest and most important thing you can do to make your launch pad videos look good. Get some good light sources. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get a cheap one on Amazon, but it's still good. Any type of light really, just don't overdo it. The lighting I'm using is two Philips Hue bulbs that are tinted all the way to white to make the video as clean as possible. Seriously as well, clean your surroundings, get rid of anything. You want the main focus of the video to be your launch pad. You don't want some red school book in the way or a pen or just, just get rid of it, seriously. Also, you'll want to get rid of any extra light sources that may provide unwanted light in the scene. Then use something like a spirit level or a spirit level app, like Apple's Compass, to level out your camera. After you've done this, however, you may probably notice that the launch pad is a bit off center, so just bring it back roughly to the center and you should be okay. Then make sure you're recording on a sturdy base. You can sample that if you want. But seriously, record on something solid because you don't want the vibrations from you pressing the launch pad to go up into your footage. It causes shaky footage like this. The best way to make your launch pad videos look good is through manual camera settings. Now you can do this on an Android phone by standard, but for an iPhone you have to download an extra app called ProCam 4 where you can manually set your iPhone's recording settings. And also most cameras should have these settings anyway, so if you want to change them, you should be able to. Now a general rule of thumb here is to have a very low ISO, as low as you can get without it looking too dark, and also a very long shutter speed. This allows the video to have as little noise as possible and still be reasonably bright. Here are the settings that I've got. This just makes it so that the launch pad doesn't look too blurry and just horrible. But as you can see, it makes a massive difference to how your video looks. Now, once you've got this recorded footage, now you have to bring it into post-production to make it look nicer. Now, here we can see my Launchpad video that I've just opened up in Final Cut. The first thing you have to do is correct the orientation of it. And you do this by adding over this Launchpad grid that I've made by myself, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But you can roughly adjust the scale of the video and the X and Y coordinates as well as the rotation just to make it centered fully. The center of the middle buttons just has to roughly line up with it because people aren't going to notice it fully, but still. So then after you've done that, you can delete the launchpad grid. And then after that, you can drag on this black circle, which what I'm using this for is to block out the light sources reflecting off the table. It's not the best way of doing this. And if you have other light sources, you might not need to do this, but still it works. It just allows the scene to be darkened a little bit. So just scale it up here, move it along, and then turn the opacity down if it's a bit too dark. Just about there. It seems good. Just move it a bit. And then I'll duplicate that, seeing as I've got two light sources, and I will move it across the other side. Now I'll make that whole thing into a compound clip, which basically joins everything, and I can universally color correct this. Now I go and grab my white balance correction plugin from fcpfx.com. I'll bring up the spectrogram, which 
basically indicates my levels of color. My main goal here is to find a white looking light effect like this and boost the brightness of the video just enough so that the blacks aren't too bright but the whites are still reasonably bright. Now I might push the blacks up a little bit just to bring up the background, actually bring down the background, and then mess with the brightness a bit until the whites keep going up high. And then I'll start changing the white balance for the individual shadows, midtones, and highlights, which allows me to finely tune different parts of the video. I'll also give it a slightly blue tint as I didn't quite get the white balance right before I filmed it. I'll put the saturation up slightly and then I'll find a really colourful frame and I'll push the saturation up enough so that my hands don't look unnatural but the colours are still bright and vibrant. And then here you are, here's our final clip. I hope this helps you out, it's kind of difficult explaining colour correction because there's a lot to it. But still, I hope this helps, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time.